Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel, and yep, you've read the title. You know exactly what this means. Um, now, with the release of Marie, which is the skull girl of the... Uh, like, the initial skull girl, I'm pretty sure if, you're, if you've done the, the whole story, you know who I'm talking about. I got really excited, and I just want to have... I, I wanna I want to revisit this feeling of starting a new account and playing with new characters and the reason I was so against like umbrella so against any so against like just like continuing and just progressing through the game was because I got um, I got to a point in my main account that there's nothing that could challenge me anymore. There's nothing that could stop me. I've built my characters, I've got the characters I've always wanted, and I'm not interested in just simply collect collecting them for the sake of collection. So we're gonna start a new account, and we're gonna see where it goes. And I'm I'm gonna I'm planning on making this like a daily video, so you would see how I'm gonna build uh, certain characters, what, why I'm gonna choose some characters. Some characters might actually surprise you for why I choose them. And I'm also hoping that I get a bunch of new characters from the very last few Skullgirls releases. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. This is not... I want to get this account to... First of all, my so main goal is to get this account to the same level as my main account. But this time, there's quite a few things I want to do differently, and I want to use quite a few different characters. So hopefully, things are gonna go um, smooth. But I hope they're gonna be challenging, because... I enjoy a good challenge, and of course this is going to be a free-to-play account. I don't know if this is going to be a daily series or I'm going to just do updates on the account. I have no clue. I just want to push out this episode, and I hope you guys enjoy. So, let's start. Also, I am very curious if they change something when it comes to this game. Uh... Ah, uh, you're awake. Excellent. This is my assistant, Valentine. She will run you through a few tests to ensure you have properly recovered. I honestly don't remember. This has been so long. I genuinely don't remember if this is like the right way it starts. I actually do most of the heavy lifting around here, but sure, let's go with assistant for now. Man, Valentine. Okay, so I'm playing an emulator. This is gonna be hard. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Okay. Good start. Tap attack are fast but low damage. Use them to string together devastating combos. There we go. Let's go back. Superb dashing, using dash attacks to get close to your opponent and dash back to stay out of harm's way. You won't always be able to run from enemies' attacks, though that's where blocking comes in. Blocking an opponent slow, slower... Opponent slow... What? Blocking an opponent slower, more powerful attacks will give you an opening to counterattack. My god. Okay, let's try. Uh, notice the red flash and the heart over my head? That means you successfully counterattacked. Walking opponent attack and following up with a well-timed counterattack is the key to the victory. Uh, now you might wonder, if it's dangerous to attack blocking opponents, how will I safely break their defenses? Well, you throw them off, of course. Uh, yeah. There we go. My god, I do not remember this. Huh, very good. We've never had a test a test subject process so quickly. Let's see how you do with more advanced techniques. Does the term blockbuster attack ring a bell? Perhaps some blows to the head will jog your memory. Okay. Oh wow, lady. 
Nope. Also, if I remember correctly, Peacock is the first character we get. Most intriguing. Let's accel accelerate your treatment. I genuinely don't even remember this. Um, for our next test, you'll be a new fighter. That means you need to open a relic. These relics can summon fighters from pa pa parallel universe of our re reality. Interesting. I know what you're thinking. Rifts in space and time. Contact with the parallel dimension was the worst that could happen. Let's find out. It's literally Peacock. Like, come on, game. No. Pick it up and hold uh, it excellent. You summoned a big band baseline. Time to get back to our examination and give your new fighter a test drive. Also, this is a good time to actually use him. Because I'm playing on emulator, I'm not very used to, to everything, so it is pretty hard. And Big Band will, is going to be one character that actually, that is a tank, so it's going to make it easier for me to adapt quickly. Let's see how you handle teams and special moves. Let's start by using Big Band you just unlocked. Okay. Impressive. Remember, tagging in has a time cooldown. You won't be able to tag in until it refreshes. Okay, and boom. Special moves also have a cooldown, like tagging in. Using blockbusters, you don't need to fight charge them up. Tag in special moves and blockbusters give you nearly endless ways to dispatch your opponent. Now, try to defeat me using everything you've learned. Oh, and don't forget to block my, my attacks and counter with tap attacks. Oh god, are you gonna attack? Okay, that was bad one. Come to me. Oof. Yeah. The emula yeah, I'm gonna have to raise Big Band this this time. Or maybe not. I'm literally cl clicking through it. Come on. My god. This game is not made for keyboard and mouse. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> well done. This subject may, ha may have just what it takes today something is wrong my english just decided to and they gave us i don't know about peacock i feel like mm, i'm not a huge fan of peacock i don't like her design a lot but i know she has a couple of variants that are amazing now that you've proven yourself i'm going to help you escape this laboratory here our 100 tenor shards, use them to buy a relic to expand your collection. Actually, if someone watching and this is like you have a new account, please, please tell me if this is... No, if someone still remembers what account they had, tell me if this is the same as the beginning. Or if you even remember, if this is like the intro is the same as it was like two or three years ago. If someone with big account has it. That's our bluff fighter. You can now use a full team. Okay, I've gone long enough. Brain Dane will start to suspect something is amiss. The finisher training. Go talk to that recruit for the Black Egrets. They are military, so you may find them a bit stiff. But they know what they're doing. Sometimes your squad mates are the only people you can really trust. Anyway, I'll be seeing you around. I expect our paths will cl uh, will will, cl will cross again someday soon. Boom! Hey, you two! What? Where'd she go? Aren't you just talking to a ninja nurse lady? Uh huh. Of course you weren't. That's ridiculous. Anyway. Back on script, how would you like the opportunity of a lifetime? My name's Adam and I'm a member of the Black Egrets, the most elite squad of soldiers in New Meridian. Meridian? Meridian? What? Meridian? Whatever. And you are... Hmm. Experimental. Let's call ourselves experimental. I don't know if I would actually. Wait, wait, no! Uh, okay, finally. Whew. 
<laughs> um, oh god, um, yeah, that's proper name, that's proper name, come also, okay, well, um, uh, what's the best name? I think I got it. Script. <laughs> the stupidest name, the script keeper. Okay, whatever. Sir, we're only squad of soldiers in this city. I'll cut to the chase. New Meridian is in peril. Crime is rampant. Gangsters run the streets. The scout girl is due to return any day now. We need your help to clean up this town. Good news. Per the desperate times, desperate measures act, you, you are pre, pre approved for service. Molly. New Meridian City is full of opportunity in danger. Tap on story and we'll show you the ropes. Welcome, new recruit. We've got a good feeling about you. Okay. Okay, this definitely wasn't the diamond gold server. This definitely wasn't wasn't when uh, here when I uh, first got her. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, we start with fish. You're almost there. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna come back when, <laughs> when we finish now downloading the rest. Uh. Okay, so now that the downloading is done, we can finally start the game. <laughs> so we start with the basic, of course basic, and we're gonna start with the fish gang. Let's skip this st the story and let's actually start the game. So we're going to be skipping everything that is related to the story. Continue. Uh, you're one stop for bringing fighters again. Let's start giving you equipment. Continue. Okay. Is there really no skip the... I pressed it. I pressed that button. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm pretty sure that these are gonna be easy. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Uh, I'm mispressing quite a lot. Okay, that was stupid. Oh! Yeah, this was not meant to be played with the key. With the Ouch. Uh, switch, please, please switch. And also one thing, if you ever play on emulator, you will have to be like assigning the keys yourself. Goodbye. Finally, okay. That took a while. That's that's really bad. Yeah, this game was not meant to be played by the uh, mouse and keyboard but hey you know what it's uh, it's a challenge I, I did say that I wanted a challenge so this is a challenge let's go Come on, my god. Okay, I got super lucky. This is the thing with Peacock. 
and just like a lot of them is you can't really predict when they're gonna like if if your block is counted or not so that makes makes me anxious actually okay let's go hopefully we're gonna get feely about her very soon oh come okay why you're doing that What is it? Why, why? Well, come on! No. Okay, good. Oh my god. Yeah, the mouse is just... Also, the only way that you can like play on different accounts is if you're down now the game read down now the game sorry you can change accounts from the settings which is um, it's quite a feature quite a missing feature okay con no, let's continue and this is this is not gonna go well is it So one thing about Annie is she, her AI is quite good, and this is the wrong character to use. Okay, yep, yep, not at all not useful. Oh come on! Uh, I would never use Peacock. Now I know she's like, there was a time, I don't know if you guys were on that, but there was a time where people would literally diamond this specific Peacock. Just for the memes, honestly, a lot of people were doing it for the memes, oh, which is fun, which is very fun. Nope, thank you. I'm pretty self eager. I want to see some price. Okay. Whatever she said. Okay, so there is something. What is it? What do you want? Uh, okay. Can we do anything? Literally anything else? Uh, let's go like this. This is dailies. So there's 27 introduction costume avatars. Let's claim them. So I don't really can do any free moves. Whatever that is. Gold. Okay. So these are basically daily event tickets, new player video, production retakes. Okay. Production XP. So those are basically everything from the updates. And there we go, we might actually get... Oh, yeah, we might actually get Marie. Let's hope we get her. Evil, okay, so we're getting some stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay, wow, uh, there's a lot of things. 
And I assume that's maintenance complete. Okay, so I assume this is not... Uh, this is just now because of the recent update. So those are all of them. Oh. The Cabinet of Curiosity, I am aware. Let's get from... This. Let's see who we get. We can tribute, we are gonna go and summon. So we're gonna open this one. Hopefully we get Marie. Please. Pretty please. Nope. It's Robo. Okay, we, we have one more chance. Belize. Let it be Marie. Yes! Great. We got our first Marie. And this is the original one, like... The... or basically the one that we get to see. Okay. Now, another character... Like, what is it? What? What? Yeah, I know. I know. Now, another character I hope I get is Eliza. And I would really like both of her stuff, but... Both of her variants, I mean. Okay. No, no comment because it's not good. It's not a good variant. It's not good nor bad variant, kind of. Okay, good. This is the denial one. Uh, okay, this is the first character I genuinely want to... I will be building. Oh. Oh. No way. Oh! Shiny! Raw nerve! I don't have this character on my account! Oh my... Oh my god, this is amazing. This, this is luck. This is lucky. Okay, let's continue opening. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I never get... Infernal Twin, yes! Fuck Uwa. Absolutely, actually, actually extremely great um, variant. Very good, very strong and uh, amazing. Okay, understudy. Who else? By the way, I haven't got a single silver... Oh, yeah, Headstrong. Definitely a huge defense character. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a single silver, which is... Do silvers not exist? Hello! Stage fright, squiggly. Do we have... Okay, so the last one. Come on, please be silver. Oh my god, one of my favorites, Eliza. Ah. Honestly, I am so, like, this is so good. Yeah, and of course we're gonna be setting our, our avatar. I don't really like these. There we go. Now, uh, we're gonna go do this. I don't think it matters, really. Uh, this is for the moves of certain characters, so... There we go. Um, 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 we can't... Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get one. I don't think we're gonna get um, any, like, specific golden characters. I hope we, we... I hope we do, but I don't... I'm not really looking at it. And, yep, it seems we're not getting anything special. Hello! Nice. Okay, we got... I'm pretty happy with this. We got... Let me just remove this. Select all, mark as red. Okay. I am just happy with who we got. Okay. 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 So, we got both Marie's. Oh my god, please no. I know, I know. I really, I really do. Okay. Okay. I really wish I could skip it. But this is the, this is so great. Um, of course. Raw nerve. However, raw nerve cannot be, I don't think she will be able to function with the, um. This is going to be hard. It's gonna be extremely hard. 
piercing, piercing. Elemental bonus. That's a great hair move. Because I do want uh, to use her. Do we want this one? No, we're not going to put defense. We're going to put this one here. Because this one is easier to get. Sorry, I... It's pretty late at night, so I'm a little bit sleepy. There we go, and we're gonna put an art. So, shiny fighters. Uh, this fighter is a super sh rare shiny fighter. Shiny require half XP for each level up and half of the resources for each skill tree upgrade, which is which is something I wish we I had multiple of, but I don't really have many. Oh, you don't have enough skill points. Okay. I'll get more. So we have quite a few, and of course, my girl, my beloved. I love her so much. Uh, the Doom and Gloom, I believe, inflicts with her curse heal bug hex and death more fast for five seconds when using block, also gains a stack of invasion for five seconds. Extremely great unit, and I remember she released. She was released um, on, if I believe, if I remember correct, correctly, she was released on uh, what you call it, uh, Halloween. If I hope I'm remembering this correctly, and yes, I do want to have her moves. There we go. Obviously, she's getting build. Also, I'm gonna hard the characters I want to build. Infernal Twin, absolutely a must build. Um, this stage fright, not really. More defensive unit, headstrong defensive unit. Uh, yes, absolutely. There's like no discussion here. Both of variants are extremely good. Also, I've seen um, what she does. And I know a couple skills. Oh, okay, we have already that skill. What do we have here? Uh, skill at the moment fix and reverse polarity and this one deals 50% damage if charged. You know what? Seize maximum move points. Oh, right, right, move points, right. Um, how much are we allowed even? Oh, eight. We have four. Let's put this one. You know what? Let's put this one. Again, this is a start. So let's play. Let's let's get the playing. Do you want to continue fishbone uh, where you left off? Yep. Let's go here. Skip it. And of course, I'm gonna be using. Yes, I really want to use Pain Wheel. And specifically... God... Raw Nerve is such a beautiful variant. And let's try not to die. And boom. Okay. Thank God. Again, I'm a huge lover of Pain Wheel and Eliza. So it is to be expected. That I would fangirl over them. I, I love them a lot. And can I please put Eliza here? Eliza. Let's put Eliza. Let's put Eliza lead. Honestly, Eliza is. I'm gonna be honest. Eliza is the best character to start off with. Also, I am playing a little bit defensively because, again, like I said, I'm an emulator and I'm not really used. Yep, yep, this is this is what basically happens when you're playing on emulator. Come on. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is not working out very well. There we go. Eliza is a perfect character, in my opinion, be because she's... You're gonna attack me, aren't you? Eliza is a perfect character, and I would suggest, like, if you're a starter, to start building her, simply because... 
she is more she's between she's like in between a uh, damage dealer not all of her variants but a lot of them are somewhere in between and are not focused solely on damage like some of the there's a specific eliza that literally relies on getting hit oh come on i mm. Yeah, uh, unlike Painwheel over here, who's a pure, she's a pure DPS, and on top of it, she's a pure glass cannon, so... Let's actually use them. What is this? Up, up! Okay, Marie. I forgot how cool her animations are, but I don't. I am disliking this move. Okay, this is the problem. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Ouch. It's funny because, um, you are in a very vulnerable position. No! Marie! I don't know what that does. Oh, it charges the heart. So it is a me. Okay, so there's a charging mechanic here. I don't know what... Okay, I have no clue what it does. I need to read about it. It's my... Okay, let's... Why? I need to configure keyboard. This was a mistake using this, Marie. Yep. And this is the first hit. I need to read up on it. Um, let's quit for a moment. I need to read up on it. Uh, let, let me see. What what did we unlock? Gain towards for when using special move. Okay, Marley, Marie improved incarnate incineration. Gain 15% blockbuster meter and rage when incinerating a dead body. What does the what? Reinforced revival. While Marie is alive, teammates gain permanent armor and an additional 15% of health when revived. Okay, but what did we unlock? Um, hold down the reset and resurrection button to build a mortary charge. When charged, tap the button to revive defeated allies and incinerate nearby opponents' corpses. Ah! Game thorns for eight mo minutes. Okay. Oh. I get it. Okay. So she is a revival tool. Which. Why? Mm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. I kept myself in the dark on purpose, if I'm gonna be honest. Let's charge her up. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so you cannot... Okay, dude. Okay, dude. There we go. Okay, whew. We are doing better. Oh. Up, 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 Marie. I'm sorry I'm silent, but I'm just like... I'm, I need to focus on the uh, battle. There we go. Whew. Still got it. <laughs> Very badly. But we still got it. Okay, level my girls up. Yeah, a long shot is gonna give you more XP. I like them, I genuinely do. Uh, now I wanna check something before we... Actually, let's... Let's skip. There's a treasure chest. What we gain? Um, I, no, not, not you, Marie. Um, the other Marie. Also, Moody Magus, isn't it a character from Undertale? Gain a random buff for 10 seconds when defeating an opponent or using Mortar Recharge. Okay. Gain one block buff meter per second while benefiting from a buff. So, not that good, I'm gonna be honest. She's not that good, but her, div but her design is just... I'm sorry, but her design is... That's a nice design. Let's give her a little bit of health. Let's actually give her a nice move. What does this do? Scatter summon on hit inflicts quite this for five. What's quite? I really need to brush up. Okay, so these are some new sh sh moves. Moves. Uh, Fifty percent chance on hit includes block hits to transfer one debuff from self to opponent. How about this one. Forces the opponent to tag out on hit, removing... Okay, so this is the tag out move. Taunt your opponent, gain random buff for 10 seconds. Also inflicts wither for 10 seconds if charged. Oh, okay, this one is just down. Oh my god, what is the skeletal summon? 50% chance on it to heavy, heavy bleed. And what do we have here on hit inflict armor break? 50% of damage dealt is regained as health. Wow, now that's... I'm pretty sure that's a move every every Marie has. Uh, Scout inflicts inverse polarity. Can we... No. Let's add this. I would really like to see it. Uh, meter... Also, meter gain is a very good one. Um, info stats. Okay, so there's nothing we can do for this one. What about the second... Okay, I keep, keep clicking on the same one. What about the second Marie? Uh, nothing really, really can do shites. Let's, let's at least, you know what, let's, let's upgrade it so we can actually, like, unhit. What is, you know what, um, I'm pretty sure it's explained somewhere. Also, the voice acting is phenomenal in this game. I, I gotta give it to them. It's genuinely very, very, very good. And the, the voices of uh, the characters are the people fit very, very well with the characters. So I'm not gonna be like building under study. However, I'm gonna be building a headstrong. Uh, because I believe... Okay, no. Is it under... No, it's not the headstrong. It's the second one. Um... None of these are good. Like these cerebellas, both are kind of are kind of meh. 
So I would su not suggest, if you're starting off, I would not suggest these two. I would definitely suggest Miss Denial here because if you look at her signature, she inflicts armor break for five seconds when entering Sahmet mode, which is basically every single every single blockbuster of her. Removes all debuffs and gains immunity for five seconds when entering Sahmet mode. This is so important as at the start because a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot of uh, newer characters have debuffs. So this is going to be important later on. Again, this is for people who are just starting. Eliza is... Eliza Denial. Both Eliza, this one and the other variant, when I get her, I'll show you, are very, very, very useful. So I would suggest um, if you get those two variants, start with them. Whenever teammate is defeated... Okay, so this is the Merrick ability. And who else? Infernal Twin, I said, this is pure damage. When hitting an attacking opponent, gain enraged for 10 seconds and refresh the duration of all enraged. When hit, while well, benefiting from 5 stacks enraged, inflict fatigue for 5 seconds. Uh, seriously, seriously great character. And she does so well. And again, hitting an attacking opponent doesn't matter what situation. You can basically be blocking and the opponent is hitting you and you can like... Basically, she is for breaking blocks. I would suggest doing uh, using her. And I mean breaking blocks is when you're blocking and you're being attacked and you counter... That's called counterattack. What is wrong to me today? So she's basically for counterattacks. I would suggest extremely... Now, she's a little bit higher level than Eliza. Eliza is very easy to deal with. So if we're going to be starting off, I would suggest if you get both Eliza's, very easy to build. They're not glass cannon. They're, they're in between. They're pretty balanced. Their defense is good. Their offense is good. But again, and she's very like starter friendly. Now, uh, Cerebella extreme damage and she can hold herself off but i'm gonna be honest like she's not the best when it comes to dishing out damage in, in, in the at least these variants are not both headstrong and her cannot do as much damage as uh, you want them to now there is exceptions with uh with her with the headstrong because throws have 50% chance to inflict cripple for 4 seconds also inflict armor break and if you know armor break means you start dealing while well, the armor is broken basically broken defense you can deal tons of damage again Sorabella is a damage dealer but again these like these variants fall off compared to other Sorabellas so if you want to like if you want to like go forward i would not suggest using so uh, i would not suggest investing in these uh, variants now misfortune um uh, th this variant specifically just don't bother honestly don't bother it's um just don't bother there's not much to say about this variant uh, stage fright actually a good unit but she has a low damage percentage. I believe she she doesn't deal that much da much damage. So again, she's good as she's extremely good as a defense unit because of her second ability, which inflicts a 30 second doom when defeated with a blockbuster. She's extremely good as a uh, just like uh, just like I said as a defense unit. Now. The prototype of a fortune. Mm, also, kind of mm, would not suggest again, not the best robo fortune. Would absolutely not suggest to put in uh, like into her time into her. Now, the reason I'm doing this with both Marie's, I know th I have a strong feeling they're not that good, okay, but I'm st still gonna use them because. Marie is a new character, so she gets a free pass. But if I'm be gonna be honest, like the best characters I can suggest for you are Inferno is Infernal Twin. Again, 
uh, that she can deliver insane amount of damage even being uh, even while being just the bronze but the only thing i would like tell you to do first is to do training with her is to see how good you are at blocking if you have fast reflexes and you can like stack up in rage if you can't do it use her from the gate great if you can do it leave her and upgrade her when you're more familiar with the combat definitely both elizas cerebellas you're not you're not particularly gonna um cerebellas are great but they're not gonna they're gonna get very easily overpowered with other of their variants like there's a couple of silver variants and when i once i get them they're very easy to get once i get them i'm gonna show you and they're far better than the, these two like the bronze va variants are not gonna stay with you for a long while um baseline peak uh, baseline big big band actually good as i feel like as a defense unit he is very good but other than that again he doesn't deliver that much damage so i would not recommend him that much peacock surprisingly this is uh i would suggest building this peacock and i'm gonna tell you why her signature ability is all teammates tag in with enrage for 10 seconds so basically putting her with infernal twin you already have one enrage on her on the infernal twin so you already start stacking up and putting her with eliza or anyone who is uh who has a problem with the attack is gonna benefit them because in rage it's basically attack attack uh, damage um attack boost i'm sorry like i said it's it's very late and cooldown for tag ins is reduced by 25 percent for all teammates so basically she's very good as a support character and she deals damage but i would suggest her to be built as support now from the silvers silvers that we've got which is only one Tomb and Gloom, Eliza. Again, first positive, first pro. She's an she's an Eliza, which basically means she is a ba more balanced fighter. Now the con is you're not gonna be she's not gonna be very useful at the beginning of the game she's more of a character in the mid game late game because astro basically inflicting wither curse heal block hex or death mark uh when using a blockbuster at the start might not seem that important but as you progress and as you get a better moves and as you like build her up you're gonna see how good she how good she deals with characters who rely on buffs who relies on healing who are just there are a few characters who are just nightmare to deal with and she is gonna be the one who's gonna be stopping them now so let's repeat my suggestion both elizas are a green if you're a starter pick both elizas they're very easy they're, uh, they deal decent damage they're easy to uh, they they allow for more mistakes and they're easy to learn their moves are very easy to learn if i'm being honest so eliza's are a yes uh Sarabella, both are yes variants but again you're gonna you're gonna get to a point and it's gonna be like as soon as you get the silver variants which i would suggest waiting with Sarabella for her silver variants that will blow your mind like her silver variant variants not all of them but there's i believe two silver variants that are super super good so i would not suggest investing in her from the start mm, robo fortune both are not a good variant i'm sorry like you're gonna be wasting materials if you're free to play you're gonna be wasting materials on these robo fortunes don't do it infernal twin extremely i would suggest her i cannot suggest her enough because of her high damage but at the same time i realized that she requires um, a little bit of skill so either you need to uh, to like practice with her or just push forward or practice with her and learning in a hard way 
or just like use her in tandem with rerun peacock now stage fright extremely good unit extremely good unit for the defense she doesn't deliver too much damage and she's very defensive type of unit i would suggest not starting the builds with her and keeping her for later baseline big band Go, a very good unit and genuinely like if you're a very like starter super starter basically this is not your second account you just got into the game baseline big band will carry your team but in in, in will carry your team in sense of he's going to be very survivable but he will have to be in tandem with someone who delivers a lot of damage or put him with again rerun peacock she's going to give him an rage and you will be able to push forward with it. Um, Eliza, Eliza variant number one, Tomb and Gloom, extremely good unit, extremely useful, um, and you will be using her like late game. She's basically for you with you forever. This is that type of a variant. Now, Raw Nerve, just like I said, extremely powerful unit, will be doing massive massive amount of damage but she needs a support she doesn't work work very well without a support um and that's like her biggest basically all the biggest flaw that pain wheel has all of her variants have is they're very fragile but if you get caught like the one combo basically can finish you off most cases one combo can finish you off pretty quick I have no opinion on uh, Mary yet because I haven't, those are new variants, I haven't built them. So we're gonna see how they're gonna work. And yes, the ones that I put hearts on are absolutely going to be built, but not in direct content. So let's finish the story and I'll see if I can, if I'll get, if I'll get to summon a couple of characters. So. Oh, come on. You know what? Lady, come on. Oh my God, I hate when they do this. It's like, I am so, I am used, I am genuinely used. Like, again, if you've played this game, you will notice that the more you push through the game, the better the AI is. And when I say the better, I mean it gets far more aggressive. And I'm so not used into this type of AI that is... It, it, it's obvious that the AI is just starting, you know? It's very obvious. Which is why I constantly block... Oh, we got a bronze fighter. I hope it's Annie. I actually haven't played her at all. So that's a hope. Nice. And let's get this one. Wait, is this the headstrong? This is the one. This is the Cerebella I was talking about. This is big top Cerebella is one of the best. Again, defensive unit. Amazing. And because she's a Cerebella means she deals a, a ton of damage. Again, if built correctly. But I would suggest absolutely a building material. Uh, building <laughs> absolutely a character you need to build. She will be with you for a very late game, especially if you demand her. Um, she's very hard to defeat, if I'm being honest, and very annoying to deal with. Extremely. Oh, come on. Come at me. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go, Marie. Oh, come on. Okay, this move is insane. Yeah, Marie's moves are abs absolutely freaking amazing. And whoop. There we go. Again, 
Runner. Is gonna be doing a lot of. Oh, another character. Nice, nice. This is nice. Can you level up? Yay! I'm so excited. I genuinely am, but I'm so sleepy. You've ma you've unlocked match if I show off for basic complete these challenges to skills and adventure. Yeah, I am sure there is. Wait, there's something in the basic. Oh, and now everyone, almost everyone. So now there's this one, which we're gonna go in. But first, enjoy this. No, you've unlocked a grid bootcamp, which cannot be. Yes, no thanks. Okay. Uh, so first of all, the free. Yes, I know. Feature subscription limited free daily. It's... Oh, I didn't know that this was free. Hey, we got three other characters. Nice. This is the one I mean, I meant to look into. Bank vault. Obviously, if you have a lot of Theonite, I would not listen to me. If you're free to play, do not spend it on this. Like the the, the coins are not worth it. You're gonna be at some point. You're gonna be swimming in coins and also exclusive. This was a nice one, but no, sorry. So let's go back and let's see what we've got. Bronze fighters. Okay, let's open them. Let's hope it's well. I want the second Eliza. Oh, it's the sketchy. Okay. Sketchy Peacock, I don't remember if she's good. I need to check her. And... The world is full of obvious things. Well, that's disappointing. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Something I want, please? Hello. Valentine. Also a definite, obviously, a yes. There she is. There she is. This is the variant I was talking about. That's actually, I th believe uh, she's the damage one. She does a lot of damage, actually. Another stage fright, huh? They're like pushing her on. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm surprised we did not get... Um, a lot of silvers. I remember a time where silvers were like basically dirt. I'm not joking, like there was a lot of silvers. Uh, why am I doing it? Okay, let's... So I'm gonna be like a sick move. Uh, open another... God, you're gonna get... Guys, you're gonna get to a point where like... Can you believe that you're gonna get to a point where you'll have like a crap ton of... Yeah, this is basically inventory stuff. I should have a crap ton of uh, characters. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you'll have a crap ton of moves that are gonna be sellable. Look at the amount of them. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Now, she inflicts 15% bonus damage for each of the opponent opponent's living teammate. In other words, she is, she is amazing at the start. If you want to use her, put her in this beginning of the battle. She's gonna kill everything. Transfer one enemy buff to yourself and inflict with her for five seconds when entering sacrament mode, which is basically all, like I said, all of her moves are sacrament moves. The only thing is like these special ones. And again, the reason why I love Eliza is because of two of her uh, thingies moves like this one removes all buffs from the opponent and inflicts heal block for six seconds also applies on the blocked opponents so yeah this is one of the reasons uh, i suggest starting off with her even if you don't know what the other character is doing you can remove all the buffs from them that that's actually powerful and this one is my favorite five percent on hit to inflict heavy bleed for five seconds Amaz also amazing. Again, you can stack them. I believe there's someone else who inflicts bleed. 
This one makes, uh, this has 25% chance to stun the opponent for 4 seconds, but it's not very useful if I'm gonna be honest. Like, again, a good, like, yes, it's good, but if you know how to play, you, you would not want to stun, you would not need a stun in the opponents. Uh, sketchy, right, I wanted to check you. While people cook is alive, all teammates tag in with haste and immunity for us, except after teammate death. While people pe 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 people <laughs> peacock is alive, all opponents tag in with slow and curse for five seconds, except. Huh. So if one. So if one teammate dies, she stops giving, I will need to test that. So this one is gonna like, and definitely, yes. Again, Valentine, Valentine, this one specifically, I see hot, is gonna be, it's gonna go with you till the late game. She is absolutely amazing at being a support, amazing support healer, and she does damage. It's surprising, but she really does damage. So we're gonna be putting her on, but again, because I am more advanced in the game and I know most of the characters, I'm not gonna be like leveling up, the, uh, focusing on them. I want to focus on Raw Nerf because again, she's a golden one. She's gonna be taking a lot from me. Um, I'm gonna push as far as I can with her, but she's not gonna be like the main concern. Uh, we have Moody Magus, Baby bo Bear Bones. I really wish they would call it Bear Bones. Marie. So basically, Marie, because she's new, Eliza is gonna be following Marie. And I think I'm gonna take with me uh, Valentine. I think this is gonna be like. So my team will be something I'm gonna show you. Let's continue with the fish bones. Uh, let's go with basic. Let's do the stars thing. Skip. Okay, let's do the stars thing. Skip. So, I think my team... Now, the raw nerve, I'm gonna be like... Again, I'm gonna be focusing on her. I'm gonna push her as much as I could. And as soon as we get to the keys, I know I'm not gonna be able to do anything because the keys are gonna be locking her. So... Again, she's gonna be taking a back seat as soon as uh, I get her. As soon as I get her keys, she's gonna be the one who's gonna work. Okay. See? This is why I said you start with Eliza. Look at how fast she deals damage. Always. Oh, and specifically this variant. Always, and I mean always, always use her first. If you're using this variant to deal damage, you want her to attack opponents while they're still alive. So use her first, and when she kills the first one, start thinking of the second, uh, start thinking of switching her off. But if I'm being honest, um, it doesn't matter. Eliza, Eliza beats everyone. Very easy unit to use, and I'm so. Why is it? Oh right. Uh, what are the challenges? Wait, wait. I didn't see the. Cha How do I see the challenges? Oh okay. Win under ten seconds. Wait, what? Uh, land fifteen hit combo. Oh, oh. Yeah, these are not gonna work out. I'm gonna like keep them away for now and I think this is where I'm gonna make it like at full stop because it's already too long it's one hour um, and thank you for watching and if you enjoyed please press the like button um, if you're excited comment on the video and I will see you in the next one bye bye